वेलकम टू पवित्र लैपटॉप केयर सो टुडे टॉपिक इज कंटिन्यूशन पार्ट ऑफ टाइप सी सी इन प्रीवियस क्लासेस वी लर्न अबाउट सी सी वन एंड सी सी टू वी कॉन एंड डी एफ पी यू एफ पी एंड types of cables finally we reach pd power delivery ic see it's uh, as i told previously it's a very 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 big topic so have patience make a note of it and you have to learn more because in this today's topic we will start the pdic how it works and what it is from when it has started see if you know the bios editing then you come to know when this pd has started for example i will open mea me analyzer and i have three bios files for example 11th one i will check what is the result see 11th one csc me 11 in this nothing is there only csc me was there okay next 12 i will take in the 12 csc me 12 in 12 the power management control has started pmc has started so that's it only pmc the number 1 it has started then 13 i'll take 13th one sorry see csc me 13 here pmc power management already started in 12 in 13 what was the extra one pcsc one extra and phy usb type c physical see usb type c physical what is that pcsc platform controller hub configuration here pch configuration has started and usb type c physical physical layers has started here the version 9 point something the production independent something so and so in the year of 2019 see 2019 onwards what are the laptop has come so all contains type c right so now in today's topic we will cover this type c physical layer what is that physical physical layer ha that's called phy it's very very important please note down see in the same as usual i will start from ppt the boring section but i won't detect more just i will open the ppt and i will show you please make a note down pause it and you can note down and learn more okay let's go back to the ppt before starting to ppt section just i wanted to inform you people from nigeria one of our subscriber has wrote this one hmm? i hope this message find uh, mr uh, joshua of an is from nigeria so what he wrote i hope this message finds you well i wanted to take a moment to express my sincere appreciation for the incredible content you consistently share on your youtube channel 
your youtube can stand out not only for their product uh, production quality and uh, engaged presentations but most importantly for their educational value it's clear that you put a uh, great deal of efforts into researching and preparing your content and this dedication truly shines through uh, what i find particularly commendable your ability to take a complex subject and break them down in a way that is uh, easily understandable for your audience your explanations are clear concise, concise and often accompanied by virtual uh, sir visual that further enhance the learning experience moreover your choice of topics covers a wide range of subjects catering to various interests uh, interests and levels of exp uh, expertise this diversity in content ensures that there is something valuable for everyone who stumbles upon your channel Uh, through through your channels you are not only entertaining your viewers but also empowering them with knowledge you are contributing to a culture of lifelong learning and that's a truly com uh, commendable endeavor i personally have learned a great deal from your channel and i am sure many others share this sentiment your dedication to providing uh, educational content is making a positive impact in the online community and i wanted to take a moment to acknowledge and celebrate that thank you for your tireless efforts creating content that not only entertain but also educates you are making a difference one one video at a time wishing you continued success and fulfillment in your endeavors uh mr uh, joshua afan from uh, nigeria thank you thank you very much for this uh, message uh one thing i wanted to clear uh actually what are the videos i am making it's based on our plc students please note it because every time in every video i am mentioning this is for plc students because so many secrets already i explained them uh in future they want they can easily recognize uh, through these videos but 100% it won't cover what are the subject is there that won't cover in this particular videos so so many incompletion videos also uh, already put but for our plc students is a complete video because already half they already know and uh, knows and remaining by the, uh, seeing this video they can easily understand so that is my intention Uh, i am not uh, a youtuber actually i am running a institute so for that reason i am releasing this videos if it is uh, useful to others definitely you can make use of it but the thing is please note if you are uh, technically sound technically knowledgeable then easily you can understand this if you have any doubts regarding this you can uh, put a comment uh, definitely i will guide you thank you once again mr uh, joshua from nigeria okay now i'll start my ppt usb power delivery pd management usb pd management device see here a ic introduce uh, just i wanted to show you a uh, pdf for that schematic see in this schematic you can see here it's a 20 volts here it's a 5 volts from where it has come that nobody knows if you seeing it first time definitely it will be confusing things see here its ldo is there 3.3 1.8 cc1 cc1 cc2 you can't understand by seeing this schematic so that's the reason see here i to see that's the reason i am dividing this particular topic because it will be very useful to you because what pd does this is actually pdic it will convert to 20 volts from 5 volts 5 volts in ports so anyway i'll come to the topic so pd is very very important topic so detail description i won't read completely so just uh, general instructions i will give just a minute ha ah. USB power delivery management device PDIC providing cable plug and orientation detection for two USB type C here we considering we are connecting two USB port 
okay port if you are connecting two usb port in a laptop motherboard then how it works the particular usb pdic providing a cable plug and orientation detection for two usb type c and pd plug or uh, receptacle receptacle already introduced you receptacle is a motherboard part of port type c port the pdic communicates with the cable and another usb type c and pd device at the opposite uh, end of the cable enables integrated port power switch controls an external high current port power switch and uh, negotiates alternate mode see here one more thing i wanted to introduce you alternate modes what it uh, what it is uh, everything i wanted to tell you but it's very small one so that's why i not in, uh, not yet introduce in uh, next video i can uh, do that so alternate mode also is very very important for each port the pdic may also control an attached super speed uh, in previous videos i already introduced this super speed and super speed plus multiplexer via gpio or i2c just i showed you, you know in ppt i2c to simultaneously support usb 3 3.1 data rates and display port video see especially we are using this type c for power management and the display things we can connect it to display or some audio systems uh, for that it uh, depends on uh, devices what kind of uh, power we required that power through this usb we can get it so each that's the reason it's a super speed and super speed plus is differ it's a 20 gbps and uh, 10 gbps and less than that we can get the speed each type C port controlled by the PDIC is functionally identical and supports the full range of uh, type C and PD standards. See, <coughs> the PDIC is divided into five main sections. See, please note down this is very very important thing. It has PD has five sections. Using that five sections only, your USB till the battery charge will happen. USB number one is USB PD controller. Second one is cable plug and orientation. See in which side you have connected the cable. It's a straight or cross. The orientation. That one. That is the second one. Third one is port power sw switch. The port. The power switch. Where it has to connect. That one. The power management circuitry. The power management. The how much current you required. That is the power management circuitry. And finally, digital core. So digital core, how it works. So everything step by step we can understand. Here I introduced only the particular topic sections. So the PDIC is an I2C slave to be controlled by a host processor and an SPI master to write to and read from an optional external flash memory. Just now I showed you a BIOS uh, from CSE Me 13 onwards, right? 13 onwards it has covered that has to be done in bias also if without bias program this won't work hmm? the pdic that i told you the pdic also integrated a thermal shutdown mechanism in shutdown i already explained so here uh, step uh, actually total five parts are there hmm? one by one i already explained so please have a look at it so USB PD controller number one. How it works? The CC1, CC2, which I already explained previously. Pause it and make a note down of it. Okay, that DFP, USB, what it controls, the PHY, the physical layer. The USB PD controls provides the physical layer functionality of the USB PD protocol. Hmm? Remaining things you have to make a note down. <coughs> See, this one is USB PD physical layer block diagram. This block diagram is very very important. Please note down. Yes, CC1, CC2, USB PD decode, digital core, already given that uh, out of uh, 5, this is also one of them. PP1 cable, cable orientations. Hmm. Next. Second one, the cable plug and orientation detection and unlock circuitry this one will detect which side it has connected that pull up through that pull up registers here 3.3 volts controlled vcon has used 
next port power switches that port the port switches how it will switch to this mosfet it will switch so please make a note down of this so next one power management circuitry how the power management will happen here is the comparator and it's a forward or reverse uh, comparator those things i will explain in the future here uh, reference also has taken how entire thing will work that i'll explain in future this is fourth one power management circuitry next one is final one digital core see digital core i2c which i told you know gpio i2c 3 scl data everything it covers this also i'll cover in future including bias to be continued thank you thank you very much